Good morning. This is an open letter to Sergeant Garcia of the NYPD. I didn't do anything. I didn't harass the congressman's office. I didn't do anything to them. The last time I spoke to Ida Smith and contacted the congressman's office was back in early December when with a video camera just like this one, I put her on speakerphone and recorded the conversation that exonerated me. Yeah, I'm not crazy when I said the congressman's office concurred with the evidence that I presented to his office and in court that night just conducting a form of redlining. I reverse engineered it from the evidence supplied by New York City Housing Authority through the litigation of over three and a half years, cost over $100,000. That it happened when Tino Hernandez, under his administration, that there was a policy change in July, on July 11, 2003. I think that's about a year or so, year and a half, year and a half after Mayor Bloomberg came into office. Policy makers, career policy makers at New York City Housing Authority are beholden to the federal government, not to a lawyer. Now, I mean, not to a mayor. Through a, a political appointee of Tino Hernandez, who I said before came in, his style of management was something we know from the Caribbean. C'est quelque chose très mal. C'est très mal qu'est-ce qu'il fait. C'est ce qu'il fait n'est pas bon. C'est préjugé. It is the mulatto oppression of the colors and creoles and that worked under the administration of Chino Hernandez and Ricardo Elias Morales, who now is the general counsel for the control of Mr. Lou. Look, man, this is a political lynching for the 21st century. I never threatened anybody. I never did anything to anybody. But the congressman's office got connects, just like Shirley Huntley's got connects. And he tried the same stuff Shirley Huntley did, which is orchestrated death threat against itself to bring out the black churches and everybody else to say, oh, what you doing to our God? He's not your God. He belongs to the big money uh, 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 conglomerates, major corporations, because he's the head guy for international stuff. That's why he gets all these trips, all these travels, all his travels. I understand he almost, he was in, in the earthquake of New Zealand. What does New Zealand have to do with the 6th Congressional District. How much do they import there? How many black people got businesses that get stuff from New Zealand? Nobody. Go on my website. I got three of them. Phil Dreis, one, you'll see about Mrs. Fonnie Green. Phil Dreis, two, uh, uh, which is the World Appellate Court, my creation. Come on, people. I'm a great guy, man. I'm a nice guy, man. I'm polite. I'm generous, I'm kind, I'm benevolent. Why would I want to do something so ugly when I got everybody by the tail? I've got everybody by the tail. All the way on up to Mayor Bloomberg that had Marshall Guider offer me his regards at my eviction. You know how big that is? That's because Dry stamped on his behind 12, 1956. I lived there for 12 years. I'm one guy, one super guy, one super bad ass. Senior forensic paralegal. Stopped the marshal nine times by myself. In the 56 months I lived there and didn't pay him no rent, punished him. 12, 1956, that's the month and year of my birth. That is stamped on the keister of John Berea, Tino Hernandez, little Ricky Ricardo Morales, Comptroller's General Counsel, and the mayor himself, including the congressman now, and every black politician in Southeast Queens, because what I've done and accomplished in the 6th Congressional District in the past five years has never been done before, unprecedented, and Jason Hilliard said so. Thank you very much. Now we want to give thanks to uh, uh, Isa and Philip. We have taken care of their son this good. Look at me. I'm homeless. And this is where I'm supposed to get married. Where am I going to get a girl with no money, no job? I got
got a job. I'm a guerrilla journalist. And this is a presentation, a formal presentation, without any profanity, without any abonics, without any drama. Did you see the victim of the Hanksman's Noose attack? Did you see the Mother's Day documentary of Mrs. Fronnie Green? Did you see the presentation in my red sweater mommy got me? Come on now. I've got no choice. I gotta sell all you guys down the river. This is to the FBI. I have enough information that I can have uh, 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 these political staffers put in jail. I want immunity from prosecution, from putting up the Thompson posters. Because I snitched, I said it, and Thompson should concede because it was Rashida who ordered me, along with Ida Smith, the special assistant of Congressman Meeks. She has good reason to call the police and say I'm a threat to her because the evidence says that she could lose her job. And this is how she's misusing everything, screwing it to make me look like I'm a physical harmful threat to anybody. I wouldn't touch anybody. I've been celibate for over nine years, nine years or so. So come on now. Hey Mike at the VA, I'm sorry man. I'm sorry, I had to put this out to protect myself. I'm not suicidal, I'm not homicidal. I have no desire to do anything to anybody when I'm so doggone smart to be able to gather the evidence, be patient, and take the pain. And I thank that to the 1st Battalion, 75th Infantry Rangers, who taught me so well how to be a recon man. Thank you very much. Mr. President of the United States of America, Mr. Barack Hussein Obama, today I will mail you out the picture of the hangsman's noose with my little slip of paper and let's see what happens there, Chip, there, sharp brother. My friend referred my case to the Justice Department. I spoke to somebody yesterday. We, the, the, your congressman's office cannot be allowed to do this. Shirley Huntley working with the Southeast Queens Press and this other uh, political action committee to, to, to spew all this stuff out there, man. That divine and conquer game ain't good for black folk. Because why? You're leading a bunch of impoverished, poor black folk. The average grade reading, read, average grade reading level for the 6th Congressional District black people can't be more than 6th grade. 7th <laughs> grade. You want to give them 9? I don't care. If 50% of them had a college education and had a corporate job, thank you very much. It wouldn't be so downtrodden. They wouldn't be able to get kicked out of their neighborhood and you're getting a smaller and smaller pool of black people and you're cutting out all the immigrants and everybody else so you just harvest them. And when anything happens, oh, they're trying to kill a black guy, they're trying to kill a black guy, it's all elected official. It's bull crap. Bull crap. All I'm saying to you is that I didn't hurt nobody. I don't want to hurt nobody. I want to take them to court and bust their behind, just like I did Byron Metagakis, the New York City Housing Authority, in front of everybody that, would, that dared come. The same way, John B. Rhea. Remember what I did to you at the Schimmel Auditorium? I'm sorry if I made you look stupid. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. So where is that video footage? <laughs> what? Oh, I don't just pick on black people. Skin color ain't got nothing to do with me. I have an economic situation to think about rather than the skin color. That's why I'm happy to say, Mayor Bloomberg, NYC TV, where is my presentation at the third term hearings, if you don't mind? I'd like to show it to my fans on YouTube. <laughs> oh, God. 
you stereotype me as an African American. And when you did that, you made all the steps that lead to all of your activities that shouldn't shouldn't have had occurred. Conduct unbecoming the office of the congressman is enough to get people fired. Now, if you orchestrate a death threat or get hysterical and all try to cover up your crimes, you made a big mistake, man. Okay? We're going to stop at 11 minutes. So I'd like to thank you very much for seeing me for what I am in the bright light of day. You have a nice day, and God bless you. I hope you have a happy Easter and a happy Passover. Bye-bye. Good morning. This is Dr. Philip Dreis. Today is the 25th of April, day after Easter. I just exposed on the internet the federal whistleblower to the Hangsman's Noose that was in uh, St. Albans, VA. That's because Ida Smith or somebody in somebody, somebody in Congressman Meeks's office went to the police and said Philip Dreis is some kind of threat. I'm not trying to kill the congressman. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm trying to seek justice and expose that a whole lot of people have been doing a whole lot of wrong. And other bigger people have been covering up for them and it helped lead to the destruction of my life. My reincarnation is to save my life. My reincarnation is to save my life. It's to teach somebody what it took to destroy me. And why? Then we'll get to the redlining scheme, the elder abuse of everything that's been covered up by the congressman's office, two New York State senators, an assemblywoman, and a council. I don't know what else to tell you. It's what it is. It's what it is. And they deserve everything they get. That's all I know. You'll have a nice day. This is my law. This is the supplemental log for Monday, April 26, 2011. The nephew of President Antonio Cable, who's my first cousin uh, by blood. Like a big brother, he married my big sister, Evelyn. His, her mother raised me. Uh, Justine Armour's mother raised me. We have a matriarchal society in my family. Okay? So... Justine Armand married Jean-Marie de la Tour, who was from, the ambassador from Haiti to Canada. Antonio Cable is like my grand uncle, granddad. Okay? Baby Doc Duvalier is my second cousin because of Nadia Bennett Dreis. Okay? Who married my big brother, Dr. William Dreis. My mother raised him. Took him from his mother, the light skin, he proved side of my family. Okay? I'm not crazy, Ida Smith, you telling people that. All right, that's why I blasted that stuff on the internet yesterday on Easter to show that you're not a virgin after all. You just laid an egg. <laughs> you just laid an egg and you're freaking busted orchestrating a death threat out the congressman's office against me for no freaking good reason at all other than being a scorned female. Okay, got what? Oh man, you think you could pay to take the place of Isa? That's my mama, man. Come on now. You're jealous, you're envious, <laughs> and you're busted. <laughs> hey, Officer Garcia, bye.